2012. And let's jump into it, shall we? Gamer Talk, the series, the rage inducing fun show. This is the return of it. We've got a stellar lineup coming right at ya on this Star Wars y week with my Darth Vader lightsaber that I got for Christmas. I can't remember one. See? Lightsaber. Red, like my walls. Red like our logo. A red like the gamer in Gamer Talk. No, if I were to build a lightsaber at Disney, I would build. I would pick. I don't know which crystal I would pick. I'd probably pick blue or green, green or purple. But then I'd probably buy other crystals. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to GT12. We got a stellar lineup coming at you today. We got two fun segments. We got a special guest in one of the fun segments. And then we got, we're throwing a bunch of other stuff in because this is the return of Gamer Talk. So, with that, let's jump into it. Let's hit it. And let's welcome in Gamer Talk 12 by announcing the lineup for the. Segment lineup for today's episode. Starting off, first and foremost, we have Race and Punish. Then, oh, uh, and then, coming up second, we have Movie News along with Game News, being that when we put this together, we were going to talk about Marvel stuff in Movie News, but then, a couple days after I put this together, um, Ubisoft announced something. So we'll throw that in there. Then we will head to a bread. Then we will head to a brand new segment. Co-op Challenger. And then after that, we will wrap everything up without now. And then add a add a new thing that will be coming to every gamer talk after this episode, including this episode. So, stick with it, let's get rid of this lightsaber, and let's head to race and punish. So, never mind the hair, it's quarantine, so ignore it. Anyway, race and punish, what are we doing today? Well, race and punish, we have to go into a race again. Well, I have the challenge over there. Let's see what the challenge is. Challenge card. Wait, we're now starting to make these. Score two goals in the breakout card. Now, if you don't know, in Rocket, this is a Rocket League challenge. Now, if you didn't know, Rocket League, my favorite car to drive in Rocket League is the, um, uh, Warthog, I think? No. Roadhog, the big via the big truck thing. One of my least favorite cars to drive is the Breakout because it's flat, it's squished, it's lo it's it's a very oddly shaped car, and we need to take that score two goals. So let's go, let's jump to Rocket League for race and punish in GT12. I'm back in Rocket League. We're at the Neo Tokyo 
I have the card, you'll see it. I did some work with it. And, uh, yeah. Private match, 2v2. Uh, mutator settings, not a lot is changed. I just put on bo boost strength. What do you mean, game server is full? There we go. That was weird. Neo Tokyo. Nader. Oh my god! I completely forgot I changed the boost! Yeah, it's at 10. And that's why I don't like this car. What the heck is going on? I need to score two goals. I haven't even touched. I barely even touched it. Oh. We're having some internet issues. I expected it. I missed! I blew up beast! Oh my god! I should have hit that! Wrong goal! Wrong! That was wrong! We don't count that one! I scored on my own net. <laughs> I just scored on myself. That's not even physically possible. And I missed. Oh boy. Where did I go? Oh boy. Dorm, 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 dorm. Oh my god! I shouldn't have at the boost. I did it! I was 
see you guys. So, we did it. Now, I did complete the game. We, we did it with a couple, a, a good amount left. Like a minute, I think. Or two. Um, I think like two minutes left in the game. So I completed the game. It went to overtime. I scored again. So I, I technically scored a total of four goals. I scored one for them and three for my team. <laughs> oh well. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> anyway, that's it for Razor Punish. I won. I don't know. I I know I, I won the um Forza uh, Motorsport. I don't know if I won. I can't remember if I won the um. Uh, Hori the Forza Horizon 4, I don't know if I won that one. Uh, I won this one. That's pretty much what I'm needing to say. I know I lost the first one, and I won this one. So, hey, 12! Hey! Anyway, let's move on. Next segment, please. Now, it's movie news. This is where I did say that I've kind of mashed some stuff, so it's going to be fun. So, movie news, before we actually get into what I want to talk about, which is about Marvel and the cinematic universe and all that, let's jump into something uh, kind of interesting. So Ubisoft announced something this week. It's a game series that I love. I have a lot of games. I was like... Seven? I, I think I have seven. Uh, anyway, Assassin's Creed. So, they released a trailer. I have the trailer here. I have that light, I will turn off that light. I have this light, I have that, I will turn off that light. I will step behind the camera and you guys will see this trailer. And then we, I will say my view on it and if I'll be getting the game, which is a yes. So, first things first. If, if you're below the age of 16, I would skip. Like, I don't know how long this trailer is. <laughs> Hold on, I'll look up how long this trailer is. Uh, how long trailer? I will tell you how long to skip. Four minutes, so skip four minutes and come back if you're very young. Skip the next four, uh, four minutes as soon as I go to the turn everything off and stuff. Skip and we'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine, I don't want to scar you. Anyway, we'll... World Premiere Trailer, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, Vikings, if you didn't figure it out, it's Vikings, I love it. <laughs> Look at that picture! <laughs> no, this game would not be played on this channel. Uh, uh, it would be played on I Am Mature. So don't worry about that, but th this is the only series we can watch a trailer. So, anyway, and this doesn't go on the Mature channel, so, eh. That's why I had the RP2M at the beginning of this video, because of this in here. Besides this, everything else is fine. Don't need to borrow. Anyway, let's go.
They are heartless. Godless barbarians. version the deluxe that one <laughs> I've gone the I got the gold edition of origins then I got the ultimate edition of um, of Odyssey I have both of those those are the only two that I have actually pre-ordered the others I got uh, just being on Xbox live and stuff so that's that 
Fun, fun, fun. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And, um, yeah, I, I am excited that they're bringing it back. It was a little bit annoying that they didn't bring it, uh, bring a new one this year. But, no, I understand it. They want to focus, they want to work on it, and I, I completely respect that. I love it. I love that they did it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is amazing. It is awesome. It looks like it's going to be actually a pretty good game. I just, I don't know when it, we will see more about it. It came out, it, they say, at the end it said holiday 2020. I don't know when that is in the holiday 2020. That says December, pretty much. That says December, that time frame. That's pretty much the time frame that we're looking in. Which makes sense, as you can see, it had a, a Xbox Series X. So I have a feeling that might be a launch title for that console. That would be amazing. I would love that. I'm wanting that console. That's already made it onto lists and stuff of what I wanted to get, in for, of what I'm going to ask for for Christmas from my family. So, yeah. But without further ado, let's move on. <laughs> let's now talk about some movie stuff. So, because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, um, Marvel has decided to push everything back. Literally, they took the entire new next phase and they went and <laughs> moved it back. Um, some things were moved back not that long. When uh, Black Widow was moved to November, might get moved back later. We don't know the most about that, but we know of another film that was moved back again. That's Doctor Strange in, in the Multiverse of Madness. That was moved back. It is now the latest film of the next phase. So, I know one of my friends is a big Doctor Strange fan. Big. And um, for me, I, I, I liked the first one. I liked Doc, Doctor Strange. Um, the first one. They did a good job with it. And uh, I don't know how they're going to do the next one. They're, they just keep pushing it back. And uh, that might mean a good thing. But I just don't know. Might, might mean a good thing. Might mean a bad thing. We don't know yet. <laughs> it probably means something really bad. <laughs> I mean, that, that means it's going to be a really crazy film. <laughs> Can we take another crazy film from Marvel after Endgame? Probably. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what's going to happen with Marvel and stuff, being that they have a lot of movies, they literally took out all their movies, mm -hmm. including The Eternals, which was supposed to be out in November, but they moved that back and put Black Widow to that slot, and then I can't remember where that was moved back to. People sort of call, well, some people on YouTube ha did call it before it actually happened, so, this, they were smart. <laughs> they were smart enough to see it coming. I wasn't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I won't ask you guys to let me know about that. We'll, we'll, we'll keep, uh, all, we're keeping eyes on everything. Well, uh, everything goes on around us. It's a little hard staying with the news feeds at the moment, being that it's literally all COVID, COVID, COVID. I don't like reading news at the moment, let's just be honest. But this I get from just watching a bunch of movies and TV just turned off. And, uh, <laughs> so with that, let's head to the next segment. Brand new one at that. Go! Challenger! Now I'm gonna pause recording, being that this is taking a while. <laughs> okay, so, Co-op Challenger. What are we doing today? So, it was gonna be me and DJ, but that fell through. So, um, being that he got busy. 
So me and I jumped into a game that we have been playing a lot. Nine, a total of eight, eight-ish. Yeah, yeah, eight-ish. Let's do that. Eight-ish rounds on uh, Splatoon 2. So challenge for today. I have it up there again. Is in Splatoon 2 with me and I. We actually recorded it earlier, so in a couple seconds I will play it for you guys. Not done here. It'll be full. Not that stupid. Anyway, here's the challenge card. S2 challenge. For two matches, try not to get splatted. It was crazy. It was insane. Here we go. Have fun with this one. And the scoreboard thingy will come up after this. <laughs> of everyone that's been in the GT series. I've been in it a lot. <laughs> so. Uh, it's nice to have some new faces. It was Ai's first time. It's Ai's first time in uh, the GT um, series. So, hope, most likely not the last. But, um, we do look to be bringing in some fans for uh, some challenges in the future. So without further ado, let's just jump to the um, Splatoon challenge. You guys will see it right now. Let's go. Okay, I'm here with I once again. Uh, well, for the first time, actually, in, uh, this, in, um, in this, and, uh, I did say the challenge, it was actually a challenge that I came up with. I'm not going to use my ruler, but that might be a little obvious as to where I am. You know, we need to survive the entire round, not get splatted. This could be really difficult, especially on this one, baby, that you can't really hide that well. It's a very open map. She's using a roller, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm literally being so sneaky here. <laughs> being so stealthy. I can see her. I don't know if she knows where I am. <laughs> I'm literally hiding. I didn't put on my face cam, I just remember that. Where even is she? Found her! Now, I don't want to get splatted, but I also don't want to lose. Or uh, have this be a tie. That's the only thing I don't want. <laughs> Does she even know where I am? <laughs> I 
have no. Oh, back over here. I don't think either of us died once. <laughs> oh my. Don't think either of us got taken out once. <laughs> I know I lost the match, but that's not what we're going for. <laughs> we're just trying to not get uh, splatted. So, round two, different stage. Uh, this, one. this will be where we end it all. I'm ready to do this. I'm using the same weapon. Because I don't want to use my roller being that it kind of shows where I am. I'm kind of hiding from her. <laughs> This map I've been on quite quite a bit recently, so this should go well. All I want to do this round is get her. <laughs> Don't want to run out of ink.
didn't want it to be a draw. Should have just had to be a draw and go to uh, round three. But uh, yeah, um, I lost last last second. I lost. Um, that did not go well. So um, I lost. Call Challenger, the first one. Kind of like I lost the first race in Punish. At least I'm pretty sure I lost the first one. Anyway, I lost it. What are you gonna do? I'm pretty sure I lost the first one. I either won it or lost it. I know I lost the, um, something in the first episode. I, actually, no, I think I won the first Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, Call Challenger. Big thanks to for helping me out with that one. And, uh, it was fun. Tons of fun doing that today. And, um... Hopefully for next episode we can get the D DJ in. Me and him might do it sometime soon. Um, but uh, we had a certain time limit to get all these clips done, and I just I, I couldn't I couldn't wait. So I called up I. We went we went to do it, and we got done. It's done. <laughs> you saw it. But, uh, we, as I said before, we, we're looking to get some more Splatoon challenges. Me and I have come up with a couple, like the one you just saw, Try Not To Get Splatted. We have another two. We have Hide and Seek, which, we're, which we did in a video once, just once, at the beginning of, uh, ra of uh, Versus Round. And, uh, we did think about doing that one, just that one would take a lot of reconfiguring. So if you guys have any Splatoon challenges that you think would fit in, let me know. Let us know in the comment section below. That would be grateful to me and I. We would both be grateful for that being that we've uh, run out of ideas. And, um, yeah. So, with that, uh, let's uh, head to the next segment. Which is out now. So, before we actually do anything with Out Now, we need to do something else. So, we have some breaking news to share. Two things. So, the press thing is gonna fire up. All, all, and I will talk about them. I have them on cue cards also, so I would not forget them. And, uh, yeah. So, let's head there first. You guys will see this via the other camera. So, hopefully I don't know if this setup will be seeable from that camera. It's literally behind me. That one. I don't think you could see it. You could barely see it. I don't, uh, I think you could barely see it. Might be getting blocked by the one gray box. I can't tell. There's a lot of things up on the screen of the camera, so. Let's head to let's head to breaking let's head to press room and let's head to press release and uh, breaking news. So Whew. okay, no chair this time. No chair. Last, uh, have we even done this before? I think I have. I don't. I can't remember. I know I had this made before. Well, the night ago. Anyway, uh. This was needed to make, <laughs> be that we had some things to talk about, so, um, literally sitting on the floor. Usually, I would be sitting and that would be up, and you would see the top of us. I think you could still see the entire screen. Anyway, welcome to, uh, press, uh, the breaking news. I didn't grab my cue cards. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, welcome to Breaking News, and we got some uh, stuff to talk about. Number one thing, if we did make a post about this, but um, it, on uh, Instagram, but for anyone, any of you that don't follow us on our social media platforms, we also made a post on Twitter. We forgot about Twitter. Anyway, um, we are 
at the moment working with our teams of the Native Village Minecraft server and along with the Native Publishing teams to come up to put together and bring together the newest in the army project, Project 20. We are pr putting it together, it will launch in June and is being worked on around the clock at the moment. Plans are getting put together, as we say, when books are getting made by with the near publishing. Gears are turning. <laughs> We are working on it. We have welding gear in place on the server to, <laughs> to make uh, a big, big um, outline before we actually start filling it in, which has to happen very soon. Anyway, something's coming. Project 20 is coming quickly. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing to do. So, other breaking news. I have another... Thing, so I will do that. So another break, another thing, another breaking news moment. We are also very proud to announce that as of August thirty first of twenty twenty, which is the start of the next season for the Near Army season season system, we will be bringing in a honorary member for the entirety of next season. So with that, we are going to do um, our honorary, honorary member for the 8th season of the Innator Army. Um, and uh... It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be awesome to see who actually would want to be a part of our team for an entire 12 months from August to the next August. It'll be August 31st to um, the media week of the next year. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice, it'll be nice to have a, a fresh face that we can get in private in normal videos and stuff that'll be awesome to do so we'll see what happens we'll uh, have the um we haven't decided which um uh how you guys will be contacting us it might be via whichever social platform uh you want to message us through but we will be making a post to Native World in the coming days, which is our website, and that will have more information, so stick with that, and uh, we will have a link in the description below to go to our website, and you guys can uh, keep posted from there. Anyway, follow us on Discord, that's probably the best way, go follow the, get um, yourself int uh, into the, um... Uh, the, what, what do we call it? Into the... Uh, Nader, uh, chat, open chat on, uh, Google Groups. Get onto things, get in ch touch with us via those, and we will hopefully get in touch back. So, with that, let's head back to the desk. Breaking news is over. And let's head back to the desk. So, back to out now. So, first things first. Number one course of action. I need my mouse. My god, I'm an idiot. I was using it for breaking news. I need it back. Gonna be loud. I hope. Anyway, there we go. Got the mouse. Anyway, out now. So, think only two biggest things. Well, one thing, not that big, not really that out. 
but is now finished. Star Wars The Clone Wars is now complete. Season 7 came to a wrap on Monday, I think? Well, I'm pretty sure. May 4th. <laughs> um, then there's also, uh, it's pretty much Disney Plus stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, then, uh, Star Wars Jedi, f the, no, not Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, it's a game, okay. <laughs> uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has officially hit, um, Disney Plus, and, um, there's also a Mandalorian documentary that's hit, um, so, if you like Star Wars stuff, and there's been a lot that's been added to Disney Plus over the last couple of days. We might as well just sponsor this, but Star Wars. So. Trying to get my thingy out. Get stuck. Anyway, lightsaber! Anyway, now I did say we had something special. This would be the last segment, but na 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 na. We got something special for you today. Yes, yes, yes. This is gonna be a very quick gamer talk. <laughs> Just think about it. Very quick. I don't know how long that was, but I didn't see it. I had a flash up and everything. But anyway, without further ado, let's um jump to. The newest thing that will be coming every single gamer talk. The what we like to call the next question. Now, because this is Star Wars week thing, Star Wars month, we wanted a Star Wars question. But because we were talking about Marvel in this episode, we wanted a Marvel question. So me. And I came up with two questions that I think are pretty good. We have a Star Wars question and a Marvel question. I don't know why I uh, packed this up. There we go. Well, if this was a real lightsaber, I would have cut my hand up by now. Anyway. <laughs> and like... <laughs> Anyway, first question. I don't know how well you guys can barely see this, so I'll say them. So, let's go with the Marvel question. We talked a bit about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So, I want to know from you guys, what do you think will happen in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? So, what, what, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Being that, I'm not gonna do that again. Anyway, um, let us know in the comment section below. Being that we see pic the people that have posted pictures of Doctor Strange in Iron Man armor. Yeah, I'm not kidding. There's pictures of that now. So, there's that. Then there's others that say Scarlet Witch will be in. What do you guys think will re what do you think will happen? If you can't think of that, what would you want to happen? I would love to hear that from you guys and whatever comments we like the most will end up popping up on the screen when next question happens in the next episode. So with that, that Star Wars. We have Star Wars question. This was a question that was made by I herself. Uh, without my help, and uh, being that if you don't know, uh, the casting for a lot of the cast cast has been announced for the Mandalorian season two on Disney Plus, and um, there is rumors of a certain actress playing Ahsoka Tano, who is a big character in the animated world in Star Wars Rebels. I did it again. in Star Wars Rebels and the Clone Wars, which is now over, and 
there is um, rumors that that actress will be playing Ahsoka in The Mandalorian. So her question to you, her eyes question to all of you lovely folks at home is, what do you think about Ahsoka possibly being in The Mandalorian? Let us know in the comment section below. If you don't think you can answer that, just get, throw a chat in the comment section below. Let us, let us talk with you. Let's have fun. Join us on Discord. We have chats. I'm willing to lay down stuff and chat with you guys on Discord. A bad idea. A bad idea. Anyway. Um, without further ado, let's end this. Thank you all for watching GT12 GT13 will be coming in June and it's unlucky 13th so what will be happening? I don't know. But hopefully me and DJ will be back in that one. Uh, if not I'll, I'll see if I will jump in with me again. But anyway, thank you to everyone for tuning in to GT. 12, let's head to GT13 in June, and with that, thank you all for watching, this is Game Near 5, signing off, see you later in Near Army, stay cool, and have fun, and I hope to see you all in the next video, see you later in Near Army, goodbye!